What's up everybody? It is me, Jay Renard, and I'm here on the most glorious of days, at least for me, and that is Unboxing Day. And today, we have got a little something something from a very small, not well-known company and that company is called Palo Santo. And for those of you all who are subscribed to me, you know damn well Palo Santo is not uh, fall into that category of not well known. We all know Palo Santo makes some of the best damn tools in the business. And I am breaking it out right now. Gotta keep some stuff covered up for obvious reasons. You know, can't be putting out personal information where it's not supposed to be. Uh. So. Boom. This is something I've always liked about Palo Santo. They don't mess around when it comes to the packaging of their tools. Um, they know that uh, just a few things being off when it arrives could affect the use of the tool so sometimes I get a little upset when things are a little overly packed but when it comes to the use of uh, some some tools especially depending on the size of them uh, sometimes really really packing it in properly is what's necessary so there we go all right so doing this on camera here here's one keep it unrolling and here is the other so first things first this is a scratch all now anyone who has used Palo Santo before they know dang well that Palo Santo does not mess around when it comes to the quality of their product and how beautiful their product is. They make great, great things. And you can see from the pattern that's there in the wood, it is top, top notch. So. This here is what I just got from them. Oh, side note, love the use of the wine cork. Absolutely love it. Completely not necessary, still like it. So what I had been using for my scratch all was this, this bad boy here from Tandy. Let's uh, do that and get some focus on it. Now, make no mistakes, this is a good tool to use. Uh, however, the fine point that's on this one is going to be of a lot better use for me when it comes to uh, the, the finer points for cutting things out. As we all know, wastage of what you know what's left after you're done cutting, let's be honest, that's money. That's the money that you're leaving on the table. And when you can cut the, or measure things out or mark things out properly, you can move things closer to the edge or move things closer around uh, parts that are more desirable on. So having something that's a little narrower and a little more fine is gonna help you with that. And and I, I can tell you from, from just from feeling it, thinner though this is, this feels incredibly sturdy this is gonna do a great very solid job uh, this one here it honestly it doesn't feel like it's very much into the wood I felt it feel a little bit loose before um, and I don't know I just don't I never trusted the the quality of the material uh, it's it's done me well but there have been times where I've thought, man, this just isn't as useful as I need it to be. 
if only it were more precise. And I decided to go with a more precise tool. Um, I am still going to keep this, although if there's any aspiring leather workers out there who just want a free scratch all, uh, let me know. If there's a bunch of y'all, then I'll just have a contest and pick at random. Go ahead and put that down in the, uh, the comments. See, there we go. Instant giveaway. Boom. The other piece that I got, and for those of y'all in the know, you already know what I'm holding. This is another type of awl, but this is a stitching awl. So it looks very similar, but you turn it to the side and you see that this is not for scratching things. This is for use in stitching to either uh, push through or to widen holes prior to stitching. Now, I do a fair amount of stitching on the machine, but that's mostly to save time if it's something that's either large or have a, a lot of things I need to make in a short period of time. If I have the time, I like hand stitching. Uh, the, the machine stitch, the lock stitch, is a useful stitch. It's a very effective stitch, but the saddle stitch is a superior stitch. And I will, if you disagree, fight me. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a better stitch. Although, depending on which machine you have, even on the slowest setting, using that stitch is still six, seven times faster than saddle stitching. That can't be denied and that can't be discounted. However, the saddle stitch is a superior stitch. What I've been using prior to that was this one here. This one from, uh, from Craft Pro. Really, really good. Really, really useful. But, and you can't really tell too much. I'm not sure how much detail is, is coming through on there. I don't misuse this tool and I can tell you it started to uh, to chip and dull a bit it's it's getting honestly more and more uh, or rather less and less useful as the time has gone on especially with the dulled edges when it when it pushes through it doesn't open things up so much anymore it's just it's just not doing the job that I needed to do. And um, you can't really tell, but even though this is the longer item, by far, this is heavier than this. It feels significantly better in the hand. And because I have so much more of it and it shapes better, I can get a little bit more force out of it. It's just, it fits better. More force in my you know, hand is going into the piece for whatever it is I'm using it for. So this is going to definitely be of more use and get better use, or rather I'll get better use out of it. Um, gotta say up front, if I haven't said it already, hashtag not sponsored. Palo Santo has not asked me to do any of this. I am just reviewing the unboxing that I've gotten. Uh, I do like the keeping it green, uh, reusing the uh, the corks there instead of just throwing them away. Gotta love that, go green. And I have a few of their products uh, that I've previously purchased. Uh, and I believe I've done an unboxing for these already, but uh, one of them was this particular Edge beveler, it's a zero, uh, it, a zero in size, and this one, which is a three in size. And again, you can see from, from the quality of the wood and whatnot, uh, Palo Santo, they really, really know what they're doing. They make great, great products. It looks beautiful. Uh, I mean, it just makes you want to hold them. 
it makes you want to use them on your leather products and I'm going to I'm going to do that uh, the, the, again, the scratch all is going to help me uh, with the marking and I'm going to be using it for a lot longer that I haven't replaced it truthfully I've replaced uh, three scratch alls so far and uh, holding them they just they didn't feel all that well made but holding that Palo Santo one they just felt significantly better and stay tuned for the projects that are gonna project videos that are gonna come up where I'm using these uh, these Palo Santo tools if anyone's got any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section but down below if you have any suggestions about what you want to see me make go ahead and leave those too feel free to like and subscribe while you're at it I appreciate it um, that's all I got thanks for tuning in I'm Jerry Bernard I'm out peace I just said peace. Why are you still here? <laughs>